out what it is so you can pass one more game. So I'm in my studio today and it usually gets pretty echoey but I don't have anywhere else to record and it's dark outside and I don't want to go deal with that noise again. So I'm gonna try it in here. It's really weird, I'm kinda like breaking this place in. I'm seeing what I can and can't do within these 9,000 square feet of this giant warehouse. But this pair of custom shoes is one that was actually very important. It's probably the most meaningful pair that I've ever done. And I went and interviewed the customer for the shoes. He lives in San Francisco. Uh, we had a really good conversation, a long conversation. But the audio for the interview got ruined. So I only have like half of what I shot. And that wasn't the interview I did with him about the shoes. So I'm going to show you guys the interview I did with him about some of the other stuff, but I want to tell you real quick how the order went down. So Dominic came to me with a really interesting order. He had a dad who was in the Air Force that every time he was home, they would like sit together and look at the stars, and that was one of his fondest memories that he had with his dad. And his dad would try to kind of play it off like he knew a lot, but the only thing he could really point out was Orion's belt. So his dad was really old, obviously, if he was in World War II, and you'll see Dominic, he's not that old. But his dad had him very late in his life, and so he lost his dad pretty early. And so sometime after losing his dad, he had this vision, which was like a, like a moon with a halo and the three stars of Orion's belt and wings. And he came to three different customizers and different media, and he asked each of these people to kind of interpret his story in their own unique way. So he went to LA Inc. and got a tattoo on that show from Dan, the tattoo artist at LA Inc. And you'll see the tattoo. He went to a custom ukulele shop, which is like one, uh, I think he had two custom ukuleles made. One from a very prestigious custom ukulele shop. And then he went online and looked up custom shoe artists. And he actually found another artist, had a bad experience with them, dropped them and came to me. And so he asked me to interpret his vision on the shoes, which I did, and I painted them with like a, kind of like a brown scale skyline with some stars. And then he also asked me to paint a portrait of his father. And it was really hard because he couldn't, he couldn't get a good picture. He didn't have any good pictures because he had just moved to California of his dad. So he had this one that he had taken on his iPhone, which was like a slanted picture. And I had to paint his father from that. And from what he said, the portrait was really good. And he showed his mom and it made her cry. And so here's the pair of customs that I made for him and a little bit of an interview from when he welcomed me to his home a couple weeks ago in San Francisco. Also, Dominic, since then you've had a child and uh, good luck, you're going to be like the best dad ever. Alright, so uh, this is one of my first custom ukuleles. Um, cigar box ukulele, uh, basically made out of cigar box. Um, what the guy did was he took a, the idea of my father's World War II wings and cut out a circle and the wings for my dad's World War II wings. And he also added it up here on the headstock as well, along when my year my dad was born. Um, and then a B-29 right there, because mm. that's what my dad flew in. And then the custom guys at Koaloa in Hawaii made this one for me. It's all custom. The custom guys at what? This, that Koaloa ukulele, they're like oh, okay. the top. Like In my opinion, there's like four rare brands at the top. They're one of the tops. Um, the 4Ks is what they call them, and they're one of the tops. And they put the little, the moon with the wings. Those guys put this together for me. And this one's like, this is probably like a two, three thousand dollar deal here. This little, this little number. And it all matches off the, like the tattoo. Yeah, the tattoo yeah. is. So I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, that I got. Uh, it's like. The idea that was born like 10 years ago. And what's funny too, you really can't see it anymore, but the original, my friend did for me, it was back here. I made it into a sticker and it was the pick guard for this guitar. Um, I still have that original piece. Like, the, it's just a, a JPEG. But, um, but yeah, he came up, I came up with the idea, he made the moon and the wings. So yeah, this is just
That is really a weird sound. It's, yeah, 